Welcome back to Las Vegas Now. September is Hunger Action Month, and Smith Foods and Drugs is showing us how we can take action against hunger in our community by using bruised or peak date products. Let's check it out. Hello, everyone. I am Chef Jeff from Smith's, and Aubriana Martindale, also from Smith's, is going to help me out today. So I'm making a delicious chicken teriyaki stir fry um, using rescue from from Smith's. Uh, this month is Hunger Action Month. Will you explain that a little bit to us so everybody knows what we're talking about here? Absolutely. So obviously, being a grocery store, we're in the food business, but more importantly, we're in the people business. And we had found that one in seven people don't know where their next meal is coming from. And to us at Smith's, we thought. That's just unacceptable. And so we dove in and we were trying to figure out what are the issues facing hunger. And Jeff, I don't know if this is surprising to hear or not, but it's not that there's not enough food. It's just a distribution problem in the yeah. way that we think about food. So you okay, just. Okay, so much food gets thrown away, right? Exactly. Just, yeah. Surprisingly, I just told you one in seven people don't know where their next meal is coming from. When we talk about kids, it's one in five. Yet 40% of food produced goes wasted, which is pretty alarming. So you use this term rescued food, right? Exactly. So what, what does that term mean to you as a chef? So to me, it's like, well, so if you go into the store and maybe a vegetable has a bruise on it, or maybe it's not that perfect looking apple or whatever, banana, mm -hmm. it's still good, even though it's, it maybe doesn't look good for the shelf, or maybe meats, maybe past the, Maybe starting to have a little bit of color on those things are still nutritional right. and perfectly healthy and delicious. Right. So that's something that we can all do is really think about food differently. I'm going to take this banana here, for example. Like Chef said, there's all these blemishes, but then when he, he used rescued food, and when you look in the pan here, you really can't tell a difference, right? You don't even know the blemishes. So we need your help at home on not wasting food. And even if you're possibly not comfortable eating it, consider donating it to the food bank. So what are some things you can do with your meat or your milk once it's reached expiration? Well, you can put them in the freezer for one thing or just use them right away. Now, once it's a, most of those dates are sell-by dates. That's an important thing to remember. That doesn't mean they're not good anymore. Right. They can go for at least another probably five to seven days after that. Yeah, and thanks. some things even longer. Absolutely. Thanks, Chef, for correcting me on that term. It's actually not an expiration date. So it's more used as a term of sell-by date, and those aren't regulated. Those are just set forth by the vendor, meaning peak of quality. So make sure you use your senses, you know, smell it, give it a little taste test before just throwing it out. So consider making a difference this month and donating. Yeah. Okay, so we're about done here. Will you help me out and pour that sauce in there? We'll finish this dish up really quick. Looks good, smells good. I'm going to give it a little bit of chef toss here if I can do it. Okay, that's a chicken teriyaki stir fry made with food that otherwise maybe would get thrown away, and it's perfectly healthy, perfectly delicious. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bite. Thanks so much. All right, we're going to wrap it up. You guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Smith Food and Drug has over 30 stores in the Valley. For more information, visit smithsfoodanddrug.com.